a recent investigation by the UN panel of experts on Libya discovered that a Turkish-made drone would actively look out for humans and hunt them down. The report stated that the drone would target the opposition and attack, even when they retreated or surrendered. The drones were fitted with devices that would explode upon impact, with officials saying that the drone would fly into soldiers and detonate. The artificial intelligence is said to be able to manage up to 20 drones at once, but rather worryingly it was said that these drones or rather the artificial intelligence seemed to have a mind of its own. The UN reported that forces were ruthlessly hunted down by these drones. One part of the report said the following. The lethal autonomous weapon systems were programmed to attack targets, without requiring data connectivity between operator and the munition. In effect, a true fire forget and find capability. Officials have reported that as of right now there's been no casualties caused by these drones, and said that is it likely that they would tell us the truth if they had taken out humans, saying that it could cause some to panic and protest. Soldiers in the field along with individuals who study the battleground have said this is the first time that a drone has automatically turned and attacked humans. Although other drones have been deployed to the battlefield and that perhaps their actions were concealed, this is the first time that officials have openly observed these drones actively hunting humans. The next worry for those studying the event reported that the drones can't always interpret visual data correctly meaning that sometimes it can mess up its targets, which in turn means that instead of hitting the enemy, they could easily turn on harmless civilians. Jack Walting at the UK Defence Royal United Service Institute said that these drones and the artificial intelligence behind them are not subject to international laws. This has been a concern for many researchers, as they've said that some artificial intelligence projects are unregulated which is worrying especially when you learn that sometimes they're not always right in their execution. Jack said the following, This does not show that autonomous weapons would be impossible to regulate, but it does show that the discussion continues to be urgent and important. The technology isn't going to wait for us. As of right now, researchers are pushing for more laws to be created around artificial intelligence. People who've studied AI have said that breakthrough technologies are inevitable and that artificial intelligence is going to be a big part of our lives. It already is, but researchers have said that humans are going to rely on AI much more in the future. Projections have shown us that by the year 2040, the medium value for the advent of artificial general intelligence will be accomplished by processing power which is the ability for a computer to be able to perform all the functions of a human being, while being able to explore free thought. This could then mean that the technological singularity would shortly begin thereafter, with incredibly intelligent machines making even more intelligent machines and so on. This means we could see a super advanced intelligence within our lifetime. Various individuals have been vocal about AI, and how we need to tread carefully over the next few years. Some have found it interesting that Elon has gone down this path. After all, he's been very vocal about the dangers of AI, and even suggested that in time artificial intelligence could take over. He warned people about superintelligence, a form of artificial intelligence that's way smarter than us humans. He stated that this AI could create an immortal dictator, his worry is that the development of superintelligence could end up in the form of an AI that governs the whole world. Elon said the following, There are many outcomes, but one of the least scary ones is if we had a company or a small group of people that manages this superintelligence. This group of technology could take over the world. At least when there's an evil dictator that human goes on to die, but for an AI there would be no death. It would live forever, and then you'd have an immortal dictator from which we could never escape. This sounds worrying and rightly so. Elon isn't trying to scare people, but he's trying to make them understand what implications artificial intelligence could have on the world. 
Currently we use AI for everything, and he says it won't be long until it's controlling us completely. Early AI work has allowed us to be where we are today, and it seems that we're not slowing down. Elon has also stated he thinks the human race will be overtaken by AI by 2030, or 2040. This means we have less than 10 years before this could happen. Another study has shown us that machines could outperform humans in all tasks within 45 years. Recent studies have shown us that humans and robots aren't ready to coexist. Many people had mixed feelings about the hitchhiking robot. The robot was created in Canada, and was released into the world to meet humans. It's reported that the robot was found while it was travelling across Canada and Europe, but when it reached America it only lasted two weeks. The robot had its head ripped off, along with its arms and legs. This project was said to be more of a social experiment, to see how humans behave around something different. Although the robot did well in some regions, it wasn't as well received in others. Ultimately, researchers have said we should focus on one question, and that's what can we learn from this. It also gave us an insight into how humans and robots could potentially coexist. The robot would move around because of kindness of everyday people, and because of kind people it was able to travel over 6,200 miles. The robot's last message was the following. My trip must come to an end for now, but my love for humans will never fade. Thanks, friends. So what do you make of the drones that are actively hunting humans? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.